How's it going, Internet Land? This is Zachams Prime, aka Zachams Prime, here with another Transformers third party review. Uh, you can see I'm doing things a little bit different today because we've got the Lewin Resources uh, Atlas and uh, it's absurdly huge. Um, so I've got the camera on a tripod and I've got everything set up. I, I did a test with my lamps on and uh, decided that turning it on actually makes the video look worse. So no lamps today. Also, I'm going to try and stay out of the frame, but no promises. It's kind of hard to, you know, sit here and manipulate the figure without actually showing up in frame. So we're going to do our best and I'm going to try and not trip over the tripod <laughs> and whatnot. So here we are. This is the Lewin Resources Atlas and it is MP10, but like freaking huge like absurdly huge the sucker is easily two feet tall no if not taller at least I mean I've got pictures of this figure with um, with the uh, the third party Omega Supremes and uh, uh, Metroplex and it's taller than all of them it's just it's ridiculous. Here it is with MP10. MP10 comes up not even as high as his knees. Uh, here he is with the MP10, the MPP10, the Weijing upscaled one. Still like mid thigh, maybe. Um, you will notice that um, this figure does use the. Uh, whoops. The altered leg style that they use in the MPP-10 and the MP-10V, where you've got five louvers here instead of the four. Basically, what they did is they stretched out the leg to give it to make it a little bit more proportionate, um, which I think is a good change. Since this guy has got like his his legs look short compared to his arms, whereas when they stretch out the legs, it doesn't do that quite as much. But yeah, in terms of accessories, really the only accessories this guy comes with is up in his chest here. You've got his matrix of leadership all in just bare die cast. Um, this thing is one solid chunk of metal. Um, it does have the stuff in here for the batteries. By the way, I forgot to point out, he has lights in his eyes. He has lights here in his chest, here and here in his chest. He has lights in each of his toes. He has lights in his gun. He has lights in his matrix. He has lights all over. I have not installed batteries in this. This is not my figure. I'm borrowing it from one of you guys. And uh, to be perfectly honest, I didn't feel like installing $50 worth of batteries in this. And yes, you'd have to install. It would cost at least 50 bucks to do all the batteries because you've got at least two for each set here, 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 gun, here, here. And I think that's pretty much it. Just batteries all over the place, lights all over it. I'm sure it looks fun when it's all lit up, but I'm not the biggest fan of lights. Especially not the biggest fan of sound gimmicks. I don't think there's any sound gimmicks on here, though. Some advantages to having a figure this big, though. This has lots of really nice paint apps on it. Um, there are paint apps, like, in here, in this detail on the midsection here. There's paint apps in there there's paint apps on the back of his arms there's paint apps on his legs there's extra paint apps on you know the lower legs and whatnot there are paint apps thrown all over him and they look really good the thing i don't like is all this extra chrome he's got chrome on his face chrome on his midsection chrome on his waist section and i don't know why they needed that i think that some just some nice silver would have been great uh, that being said, 
the chrome on this figure is all really good. Uh, it's it's solid. I haven't had any problems with chipping or scratching. It's just been really, really, it's, it's really well made um, chrome. And that's one thing I can say about this figure is that this is a high quality figure. This is not, I mean, I've been having, I've, I've been borrowing this from a friend of mine just so I could do this review. And uh, this figure is super wobbly. And part of it has to do with his legs don't want it, his feet don't want to stand super straight. But he just, whatever the reason is, like the size and the die cast on this figure make him unbalanced. But the size and the weight of this figure make him super solid. Like, I haven't had any problems with him. Even putting him in dynamic poses, he still stands just fine. It's just huge and it's solid. Um, his other accessory that he comes with, let me get him turned around. If you unclip this section here from the backpack, you can pull the backpack down and he has his gun, which has unfolded as I pull it out. This is another thing that has some nice paint apps. Like the silver seems to be fairly standard, but the gold de uh, detail around here, like that's not, it's not a usual thing. By the way, check out these paint apps here. Paint apps here. They're all really nice. There's a lot of fit and polish that went into this figure and it really shows. By the way, I think this figure weighs at least 15 pounds. This is a heavy, heavy figure. Handle on this is just like all of your standard Masterpiece MP10 figures. It's got tabs on the handle and he's got a corresponding slot on his hand. Just gonna pry that open, stuff that in there, close it up. And he holds it just fine, no problems there. Okay, he let go after I hit it several times. Just solid, just good. Uh, let's go over posability real quick. By and large, posability is exactly the same as you find on the MP10. His head turns around, his little ears move, and the ears are die cast, by the way. Um, so they don't, you're not going to break them probably. Head looks up and down on a ratchet joint. By the way, keep in mind pretty much everything on this ratchet. So if you have headphones, beware. Arm will go all the way around, goes out. All the way that's nice if you look at the mp10 where it comes out like that that's as high up as his arm goes and all of these ones that are built off of that design it's the same thing you know so Lewin did a good thing there with the posability ah that's a stiff joint bicep swivel here on a ratchet Elbow joint, 90 degrees. Forgot to mention there is a panel here on, on each arm. One of these little communicators opens up. No detail on the inside, but if you wanted to get a sticker of Bumblebee or Starscream, I'm sure you could put one there. Paint apps on the control panel in there, that's fun. Wrist is on a swivel. You've got a ball joint at the base of each finger. One joint in the thumb. Uh, two joints in each of the other fingers, so you've got full range of posability. One thing I do like about them, as you can see, the hands, the fingers are not all the same length. So, has like, like a normal person's hand. That's cool. His waist, ratchets, spins all the way. Of course it does. That's a transformation joint. Leg will go forward that much. Go backwards that much. And we'll go that far out for about 80% of a Van Dam. 
I'm going to put this down so I don't drop it. Excuse me. Swivel joint at the knee. Just like MP10. Ah, geez, that's a st stiff joint. 90 degrees at the out at the uh, knee. Again, this is all super standard. Oh, forgot to mention. There's the pivot here at the upper thigh as well. Ankles have got a couple clicks of ratchet to them. They also go forward a bit. So he gets a good stance and it's nice and solid. Whew. That figure is kind of a chore to manipulate. But let's get him transformed up into truck mode. First thing you want to do is get his gun put away. It folds up just like of course, everything on this figure is just like MP10. All right, first thing I'm going to do is fold up his hands, fold the thumb down, and put his fingers into a fist curl. This one's already in a fist, so I'm just going to put the thumb down. You're going to open up the panel on the back of the arm. So rotate around and you'll close that back up. Fold the elbow and collapse this like that. Same with the other arm. Panel, rotate, close, bend, collapse. Bam. Now what you want to do is you want to open up the chest to get this ready to go, you're gonna to start to uh, let's get let's get this transformed around like so. Turn that, turn his waist. We're going to start pulling out these torso sections here. You want to take the grill, pull it away. There's a tab inside here that'll bend this all out. This is going to come up on a little armature like so, and it's going to come out again like 50 times. Just don't worry about it. Deal with it. These are going to come out, rotate around. You're going to fold out this section here and the headlight section to get it ready for his alt mode. All right, now what you want to do is you want to take this, grab his matrix chamber by the, the grill, and pull this down. This brings his real grill into view. You want to put his arm down, fold out this panel here, put his arm down. And while you do that, kind of rotate this and slide it into position. You'll notice I'm not finishing it up yet because there's more work to be done. I'm just getting it close. Head will come down like this, fold into place. Oh, I'm not going to worry about that quite yet. Now there are a couple things. You're not going to be able to see it because I don't have good lighting, but there are a couple tabs on the back of the elbow. They'll fit into slots in the, the top of the waist section here. You can't see them. I can't even hardly feel them, but they are there. In fact, hell, I'll prove it to you real quick. See, there's the tab right there. Put 
There's a tab, these tabs on the backpack here, they're going to fit into corresponding slots on the back of the shoulders. You'll need to get those into position before you put the shoulders away fully. So that's what I'm working on right now. I'm pulling this out and then pushing it up over that tab. And then kind of maneuvering it all back together. I may have to deal with this more once I put it down. Well, let me deal with that in a bit. So I'm going to close this front windshield like this. And like this, let me do the other one first. Line up these, plug them in, put this down. Yeah. There's a tab here that goes into a slot on this elbow panel here. There's a tab here that goes into a slot on this panel here. And on the other side as well. Then we'll just close the headlights over and the bumpers. I think something's misaligned here. All right, now what we want to do is fold the feet up. You notice that the panels that go here on the MP10, they aren't there. Let me tilt this down a little bit since now we're in his alt mode. There we go. The panels that go over the tires are not here on this figure for simplicity, I suppose. Um, I think that's a good move because I don't really like those panels anyhow. They're a super half-assed way of hiding those tires. Take these, fold them in. Now what we want to do is there's a button on the back of this leg right here. You want to take that. It's going to be easier like this. And I'm going to grab this and pull. <laughs> Push that all the way up in place. Again with the other side. <sighs> For these gas cans, by the way, this whole gas can is one solid piece of metal. There is a slot in the peg hole that goes into a peg and a slot here. So we're just going to plug those in. And there it is in its alternate mode. Oh, hey. And uh, this thing is massive. This is huge. Like this is just a giant toy again I'm not sure why you'd need to have one this big like I suppose there's a certain amount of cool factor to it and if you're a big fan of mp10 
and you want the biggest, baddest MP10 ever? Like, this is your figure for sure. But, like, if you're just a casual collector, I can't think of a reason why you'd need this. This is, this is bigger than is useful. Like, this is big enough that you re can't really play with it. You can really only just display it. Now, granted, a lot of us are collectors, and a lot of us get toys just to display anyhow. So, this may be exactly your cup of tea. Um... I will say it's not quite my cup of tea, but like I said, I'm borrowing this from one of you guys. I didn't pay for it. Um, I can't imagine that I would have if I had the money burning hole in my pocket. But um, I mean, I can tell you that this is very high quality. This is a, a, a very well-made figure. It's solid. It's stable. It's huge. Though I don't know that I can really say that's a that's a point in its favor, but um, but yeah, if you want the biggest, baddest Optimus Prime, this is the one for it. By the way, it came with this bag of goodies here, mostly uh, screw covers and battery covers, but it also came with a couple of these panels here. This just plugs into the back of the legs here. Helps keep his legs together in alt mode. Kind of weird that it needs that help, but it does. He does have a couple slots here on the back um, that's just like the MP10 connection. So you could. It's possible that Leewin Resources might make an MP10 trailer that's for this. I wouldn't count on it. Um, if they do make one, it's big enough that you can be buried in it. <laughs> but um, yeah, there's Atlas. It's stupidly huge. Thanks everyone for watching. You're all fantastic and I will catch you all on the flip side. Have a good one. See ya.